A very good day to you people. My name is uh, Mohit and guys today I'm going to show you how to make a mute toggle button. So it's one single button that has a toggle functionality. Uh, to start with up front it will be in the state where you don't see this uh, diagonal red line and it'll be you know the music will be playing in the background and uh, the next moment when somebody hits that button you will see that the volume actually uh, becomes zero so there's no volume the intensity goes void and uh, you see that red diagonal line guys so uh, in fact uh, let's do a little uh, less talking and uh, more work so the, f the best thing is to show you a publish preview guys so let me hit control enter on my keyboard to show it to you first so here goes the control enter on the keyboard guys mute unmute mute unmute mute unmute mute so guys all that this uh, program that was written in uh, Adobe Flash Professional CS 5.5 and Action Script 3 does is it gives you that um, toggle functionality for the volume okay uh, the best part is guys the sound that is playing has been dragged out of the library the soothing music dot mp3 I just dragged it out onto the library now you could have any other sound with any other name you just all you need to do is you first need to have it in the library and the way to do it is you need to say file import import to the library and then from the library guys you can throw it away you can just drag it onto the stage like so okay so no matter what the the name of your uh, mp3 file or the wave file is it actually does not affect uh, or you know it you don't really need to make any alteration to the code the code will still work that's the best part okay so guys uh, here is the script okay I'll come back to the script I'll explain the script let me first explain exactly what is there uh, on the stage okay now guys on the stage uh, this mute underscore BTN movie clip is actually a combination of one movie clip and one button and I can be sure of that if I double click and go inside this movie clip if I go inside guys you can actually see that it's made up of uh, two components this is the first component guys okay which is a red underscore bar it's a movie clip okay I just drew a red stroke and I, I called it uh, and I converted it to a movie clip now this tutorial is not very basic I'm not going to show you how to create a movie clip I'm assuming guys that you at least know how to do that okay and this was a button guys this was a button I've not given it any instance name which I pulled up from window common libraries buttons and uh, under the playback flat buttons um, category we have that flat blue play button I pulled it out from here okay I did not give it an instance name I drew the stroke okay diagonal red stroke and I called it red underscore bar okay let me say control Z okay to reset the things that they were okay then I, I selected both of them together okay and let me go back to the main timeline and I gave them an instance name mute underscore btn so basically mute underscore btn is a combination of that play button and uh, which does not have an instance name and that a red stroke diagonal stroke okay which I've called red underscore bar and I, I, I clubbed them both together I made it a movie clip and I called it mute underscore btn so this is mute underscore btn cool okay <coughs> that's that's one thing and the other thing is guys uh, I for imported this sound okay from my hard disk uh, inside the library called it soothing and uh, you know uh, it was lying on the desktop I, I brought it over on into the library and then I, I just dragged the sound out like this and uh, just left it on uh, the stage okay I'm not gonna do it again since it's already there okay that's the way you actually bring the music right so see guys in the actions panel there is n no action script written to actually uh, play this music this music is playing because it has been pulled up from the library onto the stage nowhere out here do you see uh, any mention of this soothing underscore music dot mp3 or in any attempt to play it it will play automatically since it's lying on the stage okay now all that this action script does is it actually is creating that toggle functionality for 
any music it could be soothing or shrill music dot mp3 it could be uh, harsh music or it could be meditational music whatever that really wouldn't matter okay so uh, now it's the time for me to explain the action script okay guys now guys if you remember mute underscore btn is the main button that is lying out here on the stage okay inside which we had the red bar so to start with I'm setting the visibility to false okay then I'm running this function set volume okay we'll come back to this function a little later okay uh, let's consider line number 10 first line number 10 says that I'm creating a variable of the type boolean now booleans can have only two values guys either they can be true or either they can be fault false so to start with um, I kept its uh, value to a false then I've added an event listener to that mute button that mute button which is hosting that button as well as that uh, red diagonal stroke guys and I've added uh, a mouse event to it of the type click okay after which I'm making sure that I'm running a function called toggle mute button and this function toggle mute button guys uh, here I'm passing the event let's see what okay so this toggle mute button which is uh, uh, you know uh, is run and it checks if mute is actually equal to is actually true and notice out here guys since it's a boolean and uh, we had set it to false okay so if it ch it checks if it's true or false and if it's true then notice what it does it says in fact uh, let me crunch this left side so we have a good view okay so it checks if mute is true then it sets the mute to false so it sets this uh, boolean to uh, false if it is true and it <coughs> runs the function set volume which is out here that was the reason I told you I'll come back to it a little later uh, it runs the function it calls the function set volume and passes the the value 1 which is then fed to this variable volume okay but and it also makes sure that the red bar visibility is set to false so the red bar disappears okay else uh, it checks if mute is actually true and if mute is true then it uh, runs the same function set volume which is out here but at a value of zero out here it you know see guys functions can accept the values uh, out here we have passed the value 1 out here we have passed the value 0 and no matter what the value is whether it's 1 or whether it's 0 it will in line number 3 notice out here this is the function guys this volume variable this volume out here is going to accept this value either 1 or 0 okay and according to uh, the fact whether it's one or zero is going to perform this function a little differently. Okay, so let me go again. If the you know the variable, the mute variable, <coughs> which is a boolean, is is true, that will make it false and it'll run the function set volume at one, or uh, and it'll also make the red bar disappear. Else, it'll set the mute to a true. This mo and. Uh, it'll set the it'll run the function set volume which is out here at at a value of zero okay and also ensure that uh, the red bar visibility is set to true so whenever we, we get that uh, mute uh, functionality you should see that a red cross diagonal line and when the volume is playing you, you should not see the red diagonal uh, red line so it, the visibility has been set to false now let's focus a little bit upon uh, lines 3 to 7 let's see what uh, they actually do now whether the uh, the function set volume is run at uh, 0 or 1 uh, let's see what it does in line number 4 we have created a variable uh, volume transform okay we have instantiated uh, a variable called volume transform and guys you can store volume in such variables through the volume property and I've made it equal to volume and volume guys as you know it's either one or it's zero so either it's uh, full volume or it's uh, no volume okay so next line number six uh, 
we have used the sound mixer class now sound mixer class has a, a global control over all sounds that are playing and through the sound transform uh, property that have that we have attached to the sound mixer class we are making sure that it's equal to volume transform now the variable volume transform is sometimes zero and sometimes one making sure that sometimes the volume is set to mute and sometimes sometimes it's blaring loud okay even though it's soothing right so guys uh, I, I, I hope this uh, tutorial is, uh, has been helpful. You liked it, you learned it, you enjoyed it, and you would implement it too. I'll see you very soon with yet another Flash and Action Script 3 tutorial, or it could be Dreamweaver CS 5.5. Uh, you have a good day, guys. Peace. Bye bye.